Skin weighting is the process of applying um, skin weights to our skeleton, meaning that you can see that if I move the skeleton now, the geometry doesn't come along for the ride. So I feel like I need to make that association. Um, one thing that I noticed is that the neck joint down here looks like it's way too low, okay? And the problem is if I move it up, well, I've got that going on, right? So here's kind of a cool trick. If you notice that a joint is kind of not where it should be, you can press the insert button on your keyboard, and now I can go like this move that to the correct position and if you, some keyboards don't have the insert key I believe if you hold down D as in dog you can then move it too you just have to keep holding D or you can press insert and then let up on ins insert and then move it okay great now I, I think everything looks good um, now to do this I'm gonna go ahead and select the um, the skeleton at the root joint right here. I'm going to shift select the body. And now I'm gonna to go to skin, bind skin options. And on this, I'll just reset it. And so it's at the default settings and I'm gonna change the bind method to geodesic voxel. And the max influence I'm gonna to put to three. Leave everything else alone and I'm gonna hit bind skin, okay? It's gonna think for a little bit, and then when it's done, um, what, what will happen is if I rotate this, you can start to see that the mesh is now connected, okay? I don't want you to rotate because it's important that the character kind of stays in its position. I can see that the head is making a lot more sense. Okay, great. Um, notice that these characters are not rigged. I can't get rid of them. I could hide them, so maybe I turn off their visibility, um, but there's, it's important that they stay there so the blend shapes still work, okay? And I can see that if I click on this character, blend shapes are still on here. There we go. So that's good. And the character can move, okay? So that is binding the skin. And then what I can do is if I select this, go back to my human IK, we're kind of moving down the road. First we made the skeleton, uh, and now I can see that everything is green, um, indicating that, hey, this looks good, and now I'm ready to kind of create the controllers. So to create the controllers, I'm gonna select the skeleton, and I'm just gonna click on this button right here. It's gonna think, and now it made the controllers here, okay? And if I click on this, you can see that I can move the arm in a very intuitive way. And I can also select this one and I can move this in a very intuitive way. In fact, if I try to grab this further out, you can see the character just kind of updates. So the idea is that I never want to select a physical joint. I'm going to select um, these red controllers. Okay, so now we're making some really good progress on our character. Um, the other thing with the control rig is if I go here, um, just by making the control rig, now I can select the character here. Okay, so sometimes it's easier than trying to like select a little icon or something there. And now I can kind of move the wrist, for example. Or I can select his foot and go here. In fact, if I wanted to grab a finger, I could select that would select the wrist, but if I hit this arrow here, now I could select a particular finger and then I could like rotate it. Okay, um, so that I feel like that's a lot easier to do. If I wanted to jump to the other hand, I could click on that and now I can have access to that. So really a cool way uh, to work with some things here. I'm gonna try rotating the head. It looks like we, um, yeah, that looks that looks good. That looks really good. And if I open up the jaw, okay, I can see that, that that looks kind of weird, right? Um, the other thing that's neat about this is if I go back here and if I kind of 
mess up his pose. Like I'm trying some stuff and I'm doing this. And I'm like, oh shoot, I wish he was back to his regular pose. I could just click on this T pose and he's set back to T pose. Okay. So if I was going to animate this character, I could animate um, by keying these controllers. Um, and later I'm going to actually add motion capture data onto this guy. Um, so I just wanted to make sure that you understand that we had to set the skeleton in to kind of set up the initial parameters. But now I've got a control rig in that allows me to move and alter this guy. A few other things with this particular control rig is, I, I, let me just kind of rotate his arms out forward like this. And let's say if he was holding on to something and he's doing, I don't know, some exercise and I kind of wanted him to be holding on to something up here. I might not want these hands to move. So what I could do is I could select the hands over here and I could pin both the translation and the rotation. And it looks like there's a, they're actually putting pins in this. This looks like a voodoo doll, right? Now I can click on this and you can see how the hands stay there. Okay, so if I'm posing the character or doing anything, um, maybe he's doing push-ups and I want his hands to stay in place, that's a really cool way to do that. And it's kind of this extra functionality that the rigger or that the rig has. And I could just unpin that. Uh, the other thing with this um, control controller over here, um, I want you to draw attention to these three icons. Okay, this one is going to be just the individual um, selection that you have. This one's going to be the full, let's say, arm or leg, right? And this one's going to be the full body. Well, what does that mean? Well, I can see that when I click on this, you can see that if I click on the arm, only the arm is highlighted, or this arm is highlighted, these three. That means that that's what's gonna get keyed. So if I was setting keyframes on this guy to animate him, all of the um, stuff that's associated with this arm would be keyed, okay? If I had this one selected, and if I'm even if I just moved his arms, if I have that one selected, it means it's going to key everything associated with the character because I can see that the whole body is selected. Okay, so I just wanted to make you aware of that. So this is single body part. Now, if I'm on single body part, you can see that I can't move this because that would cause other things to move. So a single body part would be good if I'm doing something maybe like a finger. And I literally just had one uh, thing to adjust. Okay, and even that wouldn't work. Maybe maybe here. Um, so a lot of them have stuff that are associated with other things. So um, I'm not sure even maybe this. No, it looks like uh, I might not even be able to key on this particular character a single body part. I could do a body part, but not a single entity. Okay. I'll just leave it on full body for now. So that is the control rig of the character, just kind of getting uh, used to that. And it's really cool, all this stuff like, if I move this down, the fact that his knees bend kind of automatically, we just can't take that for granted, but that's a really cool feature. Um, maybe if I rotate this, I can see that. Also have some toe control. And the fact that if I try to pull this really far, that the whole rest of the body kind of responds. All right, very cool. So that is the control rig.